Okay, the recording is in progress. Now let's go live on Facebook. And let's see here. Got it. Okay, we're live on Facebook. And uh, we're, uh, we're doing our thing. How are you? This is our Oh, wait a minute. Got to do one other thing. Oh, hold on. There we go. Turn on the lights. There we go. Now I'm beautiful. I'm gorgeous. Uh, you couldn't have a better, more wonderful uh, uh, picture of me. Anyway, here we go with our Monday session. We go out over Facebook and uh, uh, got a bunch of nice people and they're all, boy, I got a lot of them waiting. So we better get them on here now. Now. There's, um, what's her name? And uh, Mandy who's what's her name and now wait a minute oh wait a minute i i thought i said to turn admit all of them uh wait a minute hold on a second admit it should admit all but eh, it doesn't do it so i will admit charlene and i will admit jeff and i will admit len lafrisco and i'll uh, rick Sheckman and steve bender um so I had to do all of those. Okay, we got them all. Wait a minute. So that, it's Rick. No, I admitted Rick, but I thought I did. Charlie Wallace. Okay. Edward Berger and Marjorie Miller. Okay, boy, we got a lot of people here today. Hello to all of you. Uh, and uh, I want to announce to everybody who's listening that uh, Rick Sheckman is not ill or sick. Um, he just likes to do this from his bed. Oh, what am I going to do? Go sit at the table in the other room? Well, Marjorie's in a bed, too. You know? Yeah. You know. I think we should all do it from a bed next week. Uh, you know? Why not? Yeah. And Steve Bender's back with it. Boy, good to see you, Steve. Hi. I, I could only stay for a half an hour, but I wanted to stop in and say hello. So. Yes. Well, the reason for the half hour is you probably have somebody that you're tutoring, right? I've got someone I've got to Zoom with, yeah. 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 So, yeah. It was Here's a bigger thing. question. How hot is it, Charlie? <laughs> well, it's only 106 right now. So. Oh, 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 it went down. <laughs> yeah. And what they're, what they're saying in Texas, they're asking people to conserve energy because uh, the grid might go. And I went to Marjorie. Of course, the grid's going to go because they changed the grid and they're not doing that anymore. Yeah, let's all plug in our electric cars. That'll help. <laughs> so anyway, if I if I go down, you'll see. If I go away, you'll know what happened. We had another blackout. Um, yeah, a brownout or whatever you call it. But I mean, it's amazing. Wow, boy, we have twelve people here already. Wow. Yeah, last show, week show was a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was like I was it, finally. Oh, I, it was a picnic. Yeah, yeah well, like Sheck and I, Shecky and I, and Marjorie. I had nobody to spend. The Fourth of July with no picnics to go to or whatever, but we felt like we were doing it. You know, <laughs> so it was really nice. And here we got Mandy's here and Charlene. Hello, <laughs> Charlene. Scott Boddicker out in Texas. Steve Bender is downtown from me. Len Lafrisco, who is south of Frisco. <laughs> uh, Rick Sheckman is over there in Queens. Got Marjorie Miller, who's in the other room. <laughs> okay. Charlie Wallace, who's down in Texas, deep in the heart of, uh, where unfortunately he won't be able to get an abortion. Uh, <laughs> Edward Berger. That's uh, right. Yeah, who's still having his vocal cords rearranged. That's right. <laughs> I can't believe that voice. You really should go out for cartoons. That's right. I'll look into that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let me see here. Jeff Stein, who is, uh, are you, are you home again now? I am home. Yes. Last time I talked last time I talked to him, which was on Friday, you were in, uh, Cape Cod. Yep. For which I was eternally jealous. Know. You know, Marjorie wants us to take a vacation, but we can't figure one to take. And <clears> Paul <throat> 11, maybe we'll come out and visit her. She comes and visit. Come here. Huh? You should come here. Well, she comes here uh, at least once a year. Uh, and uh, I enjoy it because she's lovely company, by the way, I should should say. 
So if any of you want to have her come to stay, let her know. <laughs> what did you What did you do on the fourth, Steve? I don't think you were here. What did you do on the fourth? Um, we were out on Long Island at my mom's. Oh, at your mom's. Okay. How old your mom now? My mom's eighty-seven. Wow. And um, God bless her, in great shape. So so far so good. Gee, my, I could date her. <laughs> when people tell me now they got a mother and the mother's like 87 years old i'm going you know uh gee if i were if i were dating say somebody who was her daughter would i have to refer to her as ma'am <laughs> you know uh, anyway uh so that's it and i'll see you all next week uh, yeah <laughs> No, I've been uh, I've been a little loopy today. I was so loopy that yesterday I wrote Jackie and I told him I just wasn't able to call you because I've just been feeling. Yeah, you thought it was going to be Wednesday this week. Not one hundred percent, and I wrote you and I said, "But I'll see you Wednesday on the show." <laughs> <laughs> what made me say Wednesday? That's ridiculous. Unless I wrote something and the spell checker. Correct. No, but you also called it. I forget if it was Wild Wednesday, but there was something that went before it. Yeah, huh. but you know, it could have well been that it was a it was a spelling correction. You know, many times it spell checks and it corrects it to words I never wanted. Okay. Well, and, I keep my spell check off. And you don't notice it happening. Well, I like the spell check because in most cases I don't look like a moron because I misspelled something, and at my age. I get up, I'm loopy anyway from the drugs, and I uh, I type, and I type wrong, but at least it corrects it for me, you know? So, but anyway, anyway, anyway. So, I, I you know, the yesterday I, uh, who was that I got hold of? Some company that does uh, my encoder, or the thing that encodes the audio for the audio portion of our, nightly show that we do or three times a week show and i have problems with it so i wrote the guys and they wrote me right back solve the problem no taken care of solved it on we go and i wrote them back and i just said i just had to say thank you because every time i deal with you people i get a prompt response that's an answer to my question i said you don't have that happening that often anymore because you get a hold of people and they just, it's like, they don't have an answer for you. Or if they have an answer, it's the wrong one. Or if they even answer at all, you know, try doing chat sometime. You know, like uh, for Verizon Fios here, uh, only, only has chat really available to you. You can get somebody on the phone, but you have to go through so many things to find the phone and call somebody and get them. And that that it, it's a pain in the ass. So when you have and then somebody, you're talking to India or wherever, right? When you have somebody who does a really nice job of it, you got to go. That's cool, you know. That's wonderful. Because what happened with me with QuickBooks? It was three days. Yeah. Wow. Three days with QuickBooks. Oh, <laughs> who is that? Is that Adrian? I think that's Adrian. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're off. Uh, she, Adrian, don't you want to be on? You know? She says she wants to be on. I want to be on. I want to be on. And then she comes out here and she's. I love the hair. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> well, she got that streak because what they do with it for her is they color it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so far, I haven't seen it colored at all. All I see is her looking like an old lady. Yeah, <laughs> she gets swimming, so when she goes swimming, it washes out. So okay, so no matter what you put in there, it washes out. Yeah, the the bleach will stay in there. For a while. Yeah. Do you have a pool at your house? Mm-hmm. You do. Say yes. <laughs> yeah. But what are you eating? What are you eating, oh, Adrian? No. Watermelon. Watermelon. Oh, God, I wish I had some watermelon right now. Can you give me a piece of that? <laughs> no, okay. So you don't want to share. Okay. I understand. Huh? Where's Alex? Where's Alex at? 
<laughs> Where? Where does he live? Say it to them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, she's done. She's done. Bye bye. Okay, out, 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 out. Oh, now she won't go. <laughs> You're gonna have to Boy, roll. I remember those days. <laughs> What, what's what, what's she grabbing? Her iPad? iPad, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Daddy's still, that is still fast and smart. <laughs> what did she try to take? Try to take my phone. Oh, okay. Bye. Go. Oh, what? Hold on. Look at how on. many people we got here today. 13 right now. So, oh. You know, that's a lot. And uh, where did I see? Uh, uh, I saw Scott Boddicker, who is in Texas. How hot is it there, Scott? It's a lot cooler than it is in uh, Dallas than it is in Austin, I guess. It's only 100 here. And you're where again, Charlie? You're in uh, Austin. 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 Capital, yeah. You're in Austin, Tatius. Yeah. 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 Uh, 109 yeah. yesterday. That was fun. Yeah. 109? Yeah. Feels like a real. That's a real temperature. Wow. So what did it feel like? The heat index was something like 115 or something. Oh God! You know what I just heard going off out there is another another uh, firework. Uh, really? Yeah, I want to find these guys that are doing it now and say, you know how far away the Fourth of July was? Are you sure it wasn't a gunshot? Yeah. <laughs> you Could've know, been. I have lived in this neighborhood long enough. I can tell the difference between a gunshot and a firework. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Do you know that, they, that, that fireworks were canceled uh, on the 4th of July in Akron because of, of the, uh, uh, the, 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 the shooting that we had? We've had a curfew. I think we still have a curfew. Oh, but there, that, were no, there were no fireworks in downtown Akron. Where, where was where was that shooting? That wasn't in Akron, was it? Well, yeah, it, it, downtown Akron. Um, you know, that's loosely called downtown Akron. It's um, as you blink so your eyes. So it. that's where you had where you had the, the the parade and the guy shot into the parade. No, no, no. That was another place in Ohio. No, that was that was um, no, that was that Chicago. Was Chicago. Oh. Yeah, it was Highland Chicago. Highland, Highland Park, Highland Park. Yeah, Chicago suburbs. Yeah. So. Now, the, this this was the, there was a um, uh, it was a, a guy who got stopped and and uh, um, a black guy who got stopped and and uh, apparently the, the story is that he that there was a flash so the cops thought that that he had a cut he had a gun in the car he he left the car and ran and he ended up with with um, like sixty plus bullets. Uh, um, Oh, I remember that one. Oh, yeah, they shot him sixty times. Yeah. Well, they didn't want to miss him. He didn't. They didn't want to miss him. Yeah, I mean that's amazing to me. But to begin with, Marjorie always says, "Why don't they just go for the tires?" You know, wouldn't that seem? No, he was out of the car. Well, he fled. He, well, he fled the car, and I, he he did not have. And they thought he had a gun in his hand, and he did not. So what if he fled the car? I mean, yeah, I think, are you are you so are you so egotistical that you go, oh, a cop can't, a, a guy can't run from the cops. Let's shoot him. What? Oh, he's got a gun. Well, then shoot for the legs. You know, well, why, nothing, nothing makes any all. sense. But but uh, um, I mean, the, the this this poor small city has not calmed down yet. You know, there's been. Um, a curfew going on and people have been demonstrating and it's been a mess yeah but i mean what's really a mess is why the cops had to shoot 60 bullets at this guy uh, uh who they they assumed had a gun they didn't know he had a gun they assumed he had a gun and and so it's still 60 you know uh so you coughing today paula that isn't COVID, is it oh i'll be right back <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of COVID, yes. Oh, yes. You, you, you haven't gotten it yet. Well, I don't know. This is really exciting because you know, on the show today, I may find out if I have COVID or not. <laughs> so, Adrian and and Stephanie, we just tested them this morning, and they're done now. So that's good. Tiffany is done. So now it's just Simon and I, <clears throat> and we went out Saturday night, and I had a really good time. 
So I don't know if I'm just still hungover and I was just hating it from Sunday morning or if I got COVID. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so I was coughing a lot and stuff like that. So I uh, work told me to go take a PCR test this morning. So I did that. So they're supposed to email or it's supposed to text me the, the results uh, within a couple hours at least. So, yeah. Um, uh, uh, oh, I got a little sore right here. You got some for that, Marjorie, in our thing for my sore? <laughs> I may have the uh, may have a uh, what do you call it? I don't know what they call one. Uh, yeah. But anyway, um, y- y- you know what happened with me? I I told you about telling Shecky that I'd see him on Wednesday for the show, and I meant Monday. You know what's worse? I've, for the last couple of days, I've been really tired and I've been stumbling around a little bit, and my and my head was a little woozy for until the evening. And uh, I couldn't figure out why. And then I went, when's the last time I took my pills? Oh, shoot. And I looked in my little thing, and I had gone six days without taking my pills. Wow. And I went, yeah, it could be. You know, there's blood pressure in there, and there's thyroid and uh, all of that. And uh, maybe it was my, you know, my fault. So I, I, and I forgot to take the pills for that many di- days. And that's ridiculous. You, know? you just set an alarm. I do. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's just, I'm getting forgetful about stuff, which is fine. You know, <laughs> I, because I can excuse everything I do to that now. Well, you, you'll wake up to a new woman every morning. So that'll be good. Oh uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> and, 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 and I wake up every morning to a new woman and she's really good looking. <laughs> It's really hot, you know. Uh, well, not the first thing in the morning because her hair doesn't look that curly. But you know, what do you do to get your hair that curly, Marjorie? I wet it. You just wet it, and that, the, and then it just springs into action. Yep. Wow, it's amazing. Now this woman doesn't wear makeup. Anyway, let me get going. It's all you know. You don't do lipstick, do you? Not anymore. Never did actually. Huh. Yeah. So you're lipstick proof. Uh, let me see here. Who else do we have here? Uh, so, Steve, is everything better in your life? You were having a few problems. I don't want to ask what it was. No, no, it's, um, you know, it's, defi- it's definitely better. We're still dealing with a lot of the fallout and a lot of, you know, just feeling kind of PTSD and, you know, they're kind of nervous about it. It didn't all. have to do with COVID, did it? It kind of did. Yeah, kind of did. And the kind of, I, I don't well, want no, no one knows no one knows anything right you know the people don't know enough about this virus so they suspect what happened was triggered oh, by the COVID, but, true, you know, right. yeah no they just don't they just don't know and you know even with insurance the bills coming in it's just it's unbelievable so you know but it, things are much better thanks yeah uh, i still haven't seen bills for uh for my time in the um uh, in the er you uh, will a few well, doctors, a few doctors have reported it, but I haven't seen anything like you know for the CT scan and stuff like that because I'd like to see. I mean, we're completely covered, one hundred percent covered. Uh, we have. That's where I got COVID too in the waiting rooms. Y- yeah, right. yeah. Well, she got COVID and gave it to me. Is really what happened. Here, catch. Um, yeah. Everyone, fifteen hours. Everyone I know who's been on a plane in the past three, four weeks has come back with COVID. My business manager came back from Europe. <coughs> with yeah, everyone I know has been in, 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 on an international flight. So why are we, why are, well, people are wearing, are they wearing masks on planes no. now? No. Yeah, they no one's masking. People are coughing and hacking on the plane. Um, why, do we, why do we do that? Because we're stupid. We're stupid. We're stupid. Yeah. How many people here have had COVID? I guess just Marjorie and I. It's amazing. Guess what? what? I'm the only one who hasn't had it. In your I haven't, family? I haven't, had it. Oh, I haven't had it. I haven't had it. No, none, none of these people have had it. I haven't had it. Haven't had it. Had it Edward Berger, do you have it? <laughs> I am 100% healthy. <laughs> <laughs> and I wouldn't know it by that voice. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> So we're the only ones that got, you see, because we were the ones that were snottiest about this. Oh, we went through this whole thing and we didn't get COVID. Yeah. And then we go oh, to the hospital it. and that's where we get COVID. Where get it. 
Yeah. And and as I say, my business manager went to Europe and came back, had COVID. You know, I mean, he's not having terrible <laughs> symptoms or anything like that, but you know, uh, and uh, Shecky never goes out. So, <laughs> me either. Yeah. Well, I'm not going out for the for the time being because it's supposedly it's really. Yeah, we're back to high alert in New York and being told yeah. to mask again. They told everybody to mask. Well, they're saying on the news, mask up indoors. Yeah, but yeah, but our, our... it's not official. Yeah, they're not going to make. They, 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 they're not going to make. Stupid mayor could make a proclamation and tell people to wear masks, and we could kind of soften this thing. But he won't do it. We have a stupid mayor. He's just horrible. Why won't he do it? What is it? What, what's popularity? Gonna... I mean, I think it'll... it'll ruin his nightlife. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but also I think it would ruin his popularity. He feels, yeah, it's, it's, and he I don't know that he's very popular to begin with, though. At this point, right? Is he? I mean, I don't think people Not like him. me. Did you just read? Uh, I don't like to get in politics that much, but did you just read where the Democrats or a majority of Democrats? Are asking that Biden not rerun for all 70 70 percent. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. 70 percent. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be 80 to run. It's a little old. He yes. does he does not seem that strong when he's up there talking. It just he does not give you confidence, unfortunately. Well, Trump, if he reruns, will be like 78 or 79. Right. Yeah. At this point, I'm hoping Trump runs because I think he's the only person Biden can maybe beat. He can't beat DeSantis, I don't well, think. Well, who I'm hoping uh, runs, uh, actually, is uh, uh, Gavin Newsom from California. Yeah, he's a couple of years. He's, he's a couple of cycles out. Well, you say he's a couple of cycles out, but, you know, he's the right age. Yeah. And okay. he just spent the week in Montana. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I don't think we have anybody. I don't know. Maybe that Pete Buttigieg guy, who I don't really know that much about. Pete Buttigieg. <laughs> I don't think he's ready for prime time. He's a, he's a good guy. I don't think he's ready, but you know. I think he's very. I think he's a very good possibility for a few years down the line. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But uh, the the thing about Newsom is is he's a good looking guy. He has all the cosmetics. Yeah. Okay. And that's and and, and that I think is important. And weren't they trying to recall him? Yeah, yeah but they did. didn't. But they weren't they, 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 they were trying to do that from day one. Right. I, yeah. I would tell a story. Right when he got, right when he started down here at Safeway, they already had a, a thing there, a table there, trying to get signatures for recall. That's what happens in California now. Anybody who wins for governor gets recalled, or or it, there's an attempt at recall. It's happened with almost every governor, hasn't it? Yeah. 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 And yeah. it's it's ridiculous. It's just, Biden I, seems Biden seems determined to run, which is crazy given where he stands yeah. now. I mean, yeah. Well, I don't think he's going to get nominated. He, I, he doesn't have to get nominated. He's the nominee. Right? He, can, he can be primaried. No, he's not. You're not automatically the nominee. Yeah. If somebody decides to run against him, there will be primaries. Right. There will. Oh, he yeah. can be primaried. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But he, if no one has the guts to primary him, and the DNC might say, no, don't do it. I mean, who knows? I think a lot of Democrats are going to jump up and say, we want to. Because, you they, know, if you're Joe Biden, go home and get your postage stamp in five years. Right? <laughs> get your postage stamp in five years. Really? Why would you want to do this job at, at 80 years old? Yeah. Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, I, I, you know. I mean, I say I wouldn't want the job, but nobody would want me, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm, I'll vote for you. You vote for me. You'll vote for me, <laughs> Jeff Stein. What's your hand up for? Oh, not for me. But uh, did you know the, <laughs> didn't we have that guy from Georgia who was president, and he wanted to run, run again? Harder. And, and they Don't ran against. Him. And he didn't run, or what happened? Somebody else what? ran against him. No, he ran. He just lost the game. Lost the Reagan. He lost, lost the Reagan. Reagan. He ran. He ran. He ran. He ran. Okay. Yeah. Um, because, I mean, do you remember what Reagan did to win that election? Oh, yeah. Carter? He, they, we Remember we had the, uh, hostages. the hostages. Yeah. Right. In, in Iraq. Yeah. Iran, rather. Yeah. And uh, he, he kept trying to get them out. But Reagan had a deal with Iran. 
that they wouldn't let them out till after the election. Right. Yeah. So he got dogged by that. If he had been able to get those people out early, he probably would have been reelected. Yeah. Uh, Carter didn't didn't even run. Uh, He didn't even campaign while the hostages were uh, in in Iran. He didn't even campaign. Yeah. He's been a great ex-president, though. I mean, he's done some really good. No, I told him that once when I interviewed him. I said, well, you turned out to be a great ex-president. You know, you've done so many wonderful things while you are not president that it's I'm glad that maybe you didn't get reelected because you would have never gotten around to doing these wonderful things. Yeah, it really was. A, he's a really great ex president. Yeah. Probably the smartest president too. one of the smartest. The smartest. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yes. So, yeah. Well, I mean, he's in your he's from your he's from your yeah. area. Her brother have a picture with him when they were pages at the Capitol. I was oh, too young. Got to be pages when he was governor. Oh, really? Oh, okay. But he also had the unfortunate instance like we like Biden's got with inflation, high gas prices, energy yeah. prices. But you know, people tend to blame that on the person who's in office. And 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 sometimes those those costs are not something that you can necessarily control. Yeah, I had a fight with someone this week who was blaming Biden for the economy. I mean, you know, what happens under your watch? Well, you know, you, you if, if you have somebody, we don't normally talk politics, but we are here. But there's a nice discussion. Nobody's yelling at each other. And I think that's what I mean by a nice discussion. Um, I tried to point out to somebody who calls the night show, who Shecky knows quite well, Tony, that, uh, you know, he, he was saying, well, I don't want Biden. Biden's horrible. You know, I'm going to vote for Trump. And I went, well, that's not the option. The option is to go to the primaries and not vote for Biden. But mm-hmm. it, it don't throw away the Democratic Party just simply because Biden is does not suit your needs. Or find a Republican candidate you like. Right. That's possible, too. That's mm-hmm. not possible. Uh, <laughs> no, but you, know, you know what I mean by that. Yeah. You don't just say, oh, I support Donald Trump because I don't like Joe Biden. That's not the answer. Yeah. Well, the thing is, the thing is that what I what I said was, and I said to him the other night, I said, well, I I said, you know, everybody's blaming Biden for the economy, but um, unemployment, how's that doing? Yeah, it's been great. Uh, I mean, gas uh, prices would be much lower were Mr. Trump to have no, one. No, election. not at all. They might be higher, you know. But the thing is that, that um, um you look at all the metrics that people are using, gas prices are now 30 cents lower than they were. I think everybody here drives a car. Either. 80. What? I, I, I bought gas today at Costco, 388. Wow. Okay. You know. Yeah, my, I bought gas today too, and it was 60 cents less than it was two weeks ago. Yes. We're, yeah. we're down to 640, so thanks. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, how down. much cheaper? But how much cheaper is that than it was a, a couple of oh, No, no, it, it is. It is. It was going up seven dollars. So it's about sixty cents cheaper now. Sixty cents cheaper. So we're we're not just thirty percent cheaper with gas. We're sixty percent cheaper. Yeah. Okay. We got to so remember how cheap it was. We yeah. can't just settle with this. Well, no, but but yeah, you can't. Yeah. But, but are you going to blame on Biden the fact that gas prices have gone down if you're going to blame high prices oh. on him? Well, yeah. you should. And then so Perfect. therefore, he's done a good thing. I'll tell you where it's terrible. Where, where, where I'm, I'm sick of going to the uh, grocery store because I get depressed. Mm. Oh, look what happened the other day with the chicken. She bought a roast, a chicken roaster. A okay. A small one. A, a small, small one. one. How much do you think she paid for it? Anybody? Shouldn't have been more than about Never know. 15. 15? 26 dollars. What? Wow. What? For fucking chicken, a small one. I have to admit, though, the chicken did blow me. So, <laughs> did you say 20, $26? $26. Yeah. Okay, I bought a rack of ribs. I normally pay about $10, maybe $11 for it. How much do you think I paid? 50 No. <laughs> $50. You're really trying, aren't you, Scott? Uh, 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 50, no, uh, $20. 
I mean, if you go to the grocery store, you want to slice your wrist. I used to get out of there for maybe $25, $30. It's always $50 now. This is yeah. like price prices price right by. It's going <laughs> now, there was a thing that we were talking about where it's greedflation, that these companies are just raising their prices for the sake of raising the prices yeah. because they can do it and say, oh, it's the inflation. It's because they've all been hurt over the last two years. Everybody wants to make their money back. You know, I mean. Now, Costco, we buy every week when I order from there, shrimp salad. And Marjorie said to me last week, does this shrimp salad look smaller? Uh -huh. And it was. It was in a smaller container than we were used to getting it in. Yep. That's what they're doing. They're not raising the prices on their shrimp salad. They're simply giving you less. So that's, you know, these things are happening. And, and this is the, the other part of the equation that Biden has got to deal with. And if he can lower the prices on food and stuff and so on, maybe he can get higher, you know, poll ratings. But until he does that, gasoline being down, fine. People are going to say, Good for Biden. Job rate is 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 up and, and unemployment is down. That's good, but very few people feel it unless they they're looking for a job. Okay, so that's not going to help his popularity that much. But still, the numbers are good. Stock uh, stock market, uh, Shecky, how how's it doing right now? Well, my brother was up four percent last month. Really? Okay. All right. But uh, away from that, just the normal stock prices, uh, the the Dow okay, is we're up. giving back what we made last year. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah but we're not we're it not can't getting keep going up and up and right. up. Right. It's, right. it's got to go down. Yeah, but anyway, the stock market's getting better. Yeah. So, yeah. what can anybody really say against Biden outside of the fact that he stutters and that he's slow? And he falls off bicycles. Big deal. He falls off yeah. bicycles. They love to go after him for falling over off a bicycle. Oh, look, he hasn't got it anymore. He fell off the bicycle. Well, look, you know, we, 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 we went after we, son we, that only the New York Post seems to care about. Yeah. We went after Gerald Ford pretty hard for falling yeah. down. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but he did it a lot. You did it a lot, I guess. I, guess. I uh, gotta run. So good oh, to see you. I'll, okay. I'll be here next Steve, week. Right Steve, glad to hear you. Glad to glad you see you're feeling better. Thank you. Bye bye, everybody. We love you. All right. Bye. See you later. Bye bye. And I, I want to see him soon here. We, we yeah. had a very nice lunch with him and enjoyed it. You too, Jeff. When are you and your wife gonna get down here? <laughs> Little chicken. We're afraid. <laughs> oh, okay. You know well, what it is. You're chicken, so at least you're twenty six dollars a pound. That's right. Uh, <laughs> it's not that we don't like you. We like you. We like your house. Yeah. You just don't like COVID. Uh, Paula, you had your hand up. Oh yeah, I was going to say that that yeah, you know who I'd love to see run for president. It's never going to happen. Stacey Abrams. Yeah. Let her become governor first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'd like to see her be governor for a while because that's the that's the job where you learn how to be president. You know, because everything you do uh, as a governor is a microcosm of what you would do as president. So, basically, governors supposedly are supposed to make the best presidents, better than a senator who really never did any administration. Right. You know. And the only qualification with, with Biden is the fact that he was vice president. So he saw how you administer that sort of stuff, you know, so. But, uh, yeah, uh, not, but, but in a while, I think it let her win for governor first. Yeah, and, let her and, be and, the yeah. for a few years. Yeah. Um, I can't think of anybody else besides Gavin Newsom. That a, Gavin Newsom would be great. You know. I don't see. I don't see him running for another four or eight years. Really, does he have too much baggage? Because he he had a lot of those. You know, like he le left his wife for some woman he was cheating with in his office. Yeah, everyone just remembers the whole French laundry thingy. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but I, I think I think Gavin Newsom is like you're saying. Let's say a couple cycles out, but. I mean, you gotta. You may have to pull the rookie in a little sooner, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Well, I mean, you know, you may have to get him get him in because who else is you know no one else is standing out right now. Well, when we came up with Obama, I said he's the stealth candidate. Mm, you know, sure. because because he, he number one, he he's attractive, looks good on camera, yep. speaks That's well. Cool. You know, he had all the things going for him, and yeah. Oprah loved him. Yeah, yeah. And, and she was the first one to say he should run. Yeah. But the thing well, is that he was a self candidate because there was nothing anybody could get against him. You know, I mean, there, except for Trump, who kept trying to say he wasn't, you know, an American. He wasn't an yes. American. Yeah. What a bunch of BS that was. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, huh? I don't think there's any, after we had Trump, who could say about anybody? Yeah. You know? Well, yes, but you know, there are people who they hear all this stuff about Trump at these hearings and they still love Trump. Yeah. You know, uh, well, why apparently you should just vote for madmen on it for every post in America, you know, because this guy, you know, if crazy. people still love America's mayor, self named. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> who called him that? His PR people. The only yeah. thing Rudy Giuliani did during during the 9-11 situation was and I got to blow him, a building up. I no, I gotta give him credit for it. He was on television every day giving updates. He was you terrific. Know. Huh? He was terrific. And at that he was terrific because that's what you had to do. It's the only thing that a president or a mayor or a governor has to do is to rally the people. And he was able to rally the people. Giuliani. How much was that also with COVID? That's what I was oh, just saying. Yeah, Cuomo. Giuliani was like that too. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, Cuomo to me would be the perfect candidate if it hadn't been for that whole thing that went down with him. And I don't know that he still wouldn't be the perfect candidate because he's a All great the suits speaker. were dropped. All the suits were dropped. But, yeah. but you got to remember, you got to remember that in today's politics, their optics count. How you look, how you sound count. How you look on television. And that all started where? It started with Kennedy. Because when he went up against Nixon, who just didn't look good on television, hmm. he ate Nixon's lunch. They said, you know, and his predecessor was Dwight Eisenhower. Whether he was good or bad, he looked like an old man. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. During the, during the Kennedy Nixon debate, people who listened to it on the radio said Nixon won. Nixon I won. Mean, People who watch it on TV said uh, Kennedy won. So. Yeah, because yeah, Kennedy had a better makeup artist. I always, I always had an argument that presidents who won office, won office because of the media of the day. In other words, if you go back to Lincoln, Lincoln won because he looked good from the back of a train. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because he was tall and there was mm -hmm. like that and all that. When it came to uh, later on, it was who sounded best on radio. Yeah. And that was FDR. FDR had a great voice for radio, cut right through. Yep. And then when we got to Kennedy, who looks good on television? And it's been that way ever since. Do you remember that after Kennedy, every politician went out and got a Kennedy either hairpiece or haircut? <laughs> you know, uh, so, I mean, optics count. That's it. Uh, and and that's who we got to get is good optics. Mm. Biden isn't good optics. It was just that Trump was such horrible optics yeah. that, you know, a raccoon could win against him. <laughs> what do you think about Beto O'Rourke? Uh, I think well, well, be better yet, we got two people here who can answer that question for you. We've got Scott Boddicker and we've got Charlie. They're both from Texas. They both know uh beta beta or what do you guys think i'd say let him be governor first yeah see if he can win uh this fall yeah. this november does it he's look running. good he's great yeah, yeah. It's 50 50 he's leading now i, I don't know I don't okay but uh, last i saw it was like 50 50. it's the top you know, uh, i hate to say this because it sounds terrible but i i hope he upsets that uh that uh, uh Grab it, have it, yeah. That, that that cripple. 
Uh, <laughs> oh, he, he's really a monster. I don't. It just boggles my mind how these monsters can do so well with, with these voters. Well, he's one of those guys I think who gets up in the morning and says, "How can I harm people today?" Yeah, you know. I mean, he's just. And what's the latest thing I saw that he was doing with the uh, with uh, uh, people trying to get into this country? He was going to send out the uh, the militia, the Texas yeah. militia, to keep maybe them out. Person. What? Maybe he's just a very bitter, angry person deep down because he's paralyzed. It, 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 that, that could be, you know. Uh, but, but I mean, I, I just I can't see these guys who do stuff. Uh, and today we're getting kind of political here, but in a nice way. I like to keep that emphasis on it. Uh, that, that, that it's just amazing that there are all these people who are so perniciously evil who seem to have a good shot at re staying in but office. But if people vote for them, again, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, but, uh, but uh, I mean, I've said to Tony, you don't like Joe Biden. He got elected. OK, end the discussion. Yeah. Hmm. Well, what is it? You can fool some of uh, some, some of you once wrote, you can fool some of the people some of the time, but not all of the people all of the time. But if you can do it just once, it lasts four years. <laughs> hmm. yeah. I go back to the, the whole media. The yeah. Media today. Yeah. It's getting these kind of guys elected. Well, I think the media works. It's funny. I think who do you, which media do you think elected? In my opinion, um, uh, uh, Donald Trump. Fox News. I don't think so. No, no. I think it was MSNBC and yes. CNN. Joe, Joe and Mika. Yes. Yeah, because they griped about him and griped about him, and every time he did something, they griped about that. And, <laughs> You know, they, they gave had him they, on all the time. They gave them, they gave him more publicity than any other candidate. He was good TV. Yeah, and and he. It, what's amazing is if we were to say, well, how much did he spend on to get become president? You'd find it's amazingly little, because he got all this free publicity. And then he put the rest of it in his pocket. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Which he probably needed. I mean, that's why he ran for president to keep from getting into trouble, didn't he? To keep him out of out of jail. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, it's come a good on. I want to. I want to get some Trump steaks and Trump vodka. <laughs> while 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 studying at Trump while, University, while bankrupting a casino. Yeah, the impossible. Well, no. You, what happens casino. when you want to go to Trump University and you don't have the money? You go down to a Trump casino and try and win it. You're right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whatever happened to Trump stakes? Do, can you still get Trump stakes? No. no. I wonder what company he did business with to do the Trump stakes. Probably that one in um, Oklahoma. Um, what's Omaha. It, whatever there. Omaha. The Omaha stakes. Yeah. 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 Uh, and uh, he was, uh, it, it's just, it's just amazing. But I, I do think you guys really have a problem in Texas with your governor. He's really amazing. You know? Yeah, but if he gets elected, he gets elected. I mean, I'm not in favor of it, but. Well, no, I understand what you're saying. Uh, hold on a second. Let me just get something. I just want to make sure we're okay. Uh, I, I know what you're saying. And, and I agree with you, Shaki, that. Winning is everything, okay? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and 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 so if they win, will the people? But are uh, are the people stupid? That's the question. The people are stupid. <laughs> okay. I mean, look at the um, district attorney for Manhattan taking that poor guy at the bodega half a million dollars bail. What was this? I, you didn't see that one? No. Oh, this, it was up in your neighborhood. This fellow who was working at a bodega, mm -hmm. some kid came in and tried to steal a bag of chips and the guy threw him, him and the mother out, her and the mother out. She calls the boyfriend. The boyfriend comes in there in high dudgeon and tries to kill the guy. 
And then he kills that. He kills the guy and he gets arrested and they want they wanted five hundred thousand dollars bail. OK, so what's the problem? The problem is the fellow who worked at the bodega really didn't do anything wrong. Great. Yeah, so, but what, yeah. What, what's wrong with the five hundred thousand dollars bail? It's ridiculously high. Well, well, what about you, the person who has robbed the CVS a hundred times who gets let out at no bail? Really? Which CVS was that? Because I'll go down and rob it. It's somewhere in your neighborhood. Also. Probably the one right down the street. Did I ever tell you the great story about the CVS down the street? When we first moved into this apartment, I'm sitting in the kitchen, which looks out into the dining room. And all of a sudden, I, a couple of days earlier, I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye, but then I went, ah, it's probably just, you know, a ghost or something, you know. Anyway, I look over, and there standing in the middle of the floor uh, in the dining room is a squirrel. How does a squirrel get in here? Well, you know, we have trees along uh, a certain street that borders us. And so a squirrel could have gone from tree to tree to tree, but then how they get up here, they can literally climb up the side of buildings. Okay. So apparently, because Marjorie leaves the windows open all the time, the squirrel came in. Now I'm yelling at the squirrel. I'm running at the squirrel and yelling at him. He's just looking at me like this. I said, get out of here. He might be from Brooklyn. Be careful. And then I start yelling at him, get out of here. So finally, I move towards him and he goes running towards the window. And then I go out the window, get out of here. And I know he's not going to fall to the to the pavement. And even if he did, he probably is light enough that he kind of like floats on air. Right. <laughs> so he jumps out the window. And that's the last I see of the squirrel. Two days later, there's an item on the newscast that the CVS on the corner from here had a problem. They found a squirrel who got loose in the pharmacy. <laughs> and I'm thinking, got to be the same squirrel. Got to be the same squirrel. Well, he had to fix up his injuries from <laughs> jumping out your window. <laughs> <laughs> But, Good one. but I went, that's that's our squirrel. He's on TV, Maybe. you know. And they, they finally, of I think they got somebody from the ASPCA or something to come in and catch him. That's pretty funny. You know. Oh, you mean he's not the mayor of New York now? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, uh, 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 I thought that was quite an event for us because, you know, who's ever, anybody had a squirrel ever wind up in their house? You, oh, yeah. really, Len? Yeah, not that long yeah. ago. He came in through the vent, you know, and yeah. he was stuck in there. And I had to let, he jumped out, he ran around the house, the cat went after him. I looked like the woman from the cartoon with the broom, get out of here, get out of here. And, uh, I used to have front. a squirrel in my attic and four in the morning, every night, what I refer to is he would sing and dance yeah. right above my yeah. bed. Yeah. Well, we had, yeah, we had to have somebody come and, and put the, uh, you know, some kind of blocking and stuff by our where it was coming in. So. When I lived on 14th Street here, every night I would hear in the ceiling above above us, and there was an apartment above us, what sounded like a dog playing with a little ball and chasing it around the room. So finally, I got a hold of the super of the building, and I said, can somebody do something to tell those people to have that dog maybe go to sleep at night? Because when we're trying to go to sleep, all I hear is this thing running back and forth. And he said, oh, that's, that's not, they don't have a dog. <laughs> that's not I, good news. <laughs> I said, what is that? He said, oh, that's rats. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going in. And I'm going, she's almighty. You know, at least go in and kill the rats. But there was a space between the sure. floors and they go in there and they live there. And of course, this was New York at a time when rats were probably half the population of New York, if not more so. Right, oh, Shecky? Yeah. How many rats did they say we had in New York? Yeah, I think they're all politicians. Yeah, yeah they're all politicians. <laughs> 
They're all they're all giving uh, five hundred thousand dollar bails. Oh boy. Well, speaking of squirrels, I actually saw a very unusual squirrel this weekend. Has anybody ever seen a fox squirrel? No. No. Google one. I I mean, my friend like spotted it on the road, and he like turned around and said, "Squirrel, have you ever seen one?" I said, "No." We're out in the country, but they're they're apparently kind of rare. But they're he said they make beautiful mounts. <laughs> like, that's oh, so they're they're like black. They they almost look like they have a little mask on. Like but they oh. called them called fox squirrels. And they're more like black and white. Now where was was he in your backyard or? He was just on the side of the road. Side that's what I'm saying. My oh. friend spotted him, but you know, he did a U-turn and said, "You got to see this squirrel." And it was still just sitting there eating its nut, you know, on the side of the road. <laughs> Like but, it was. Well, could you put that slightly better? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> eating his food. Yeah, yeah. Eating yeah. his nut sounds. I don't know. He wasn't like gray, like a normal squirrel was. Wow. So, yeah. yeah. That was out in the country. Exactly. You know something we haven't talked to this hour? Charlene, who just likes being here, which I appreciate. I do like being here. I but do. I, I really I, which I appreciate, you know? And. and <laughs> If you don't say a word, it's nice having you here. Thank you. Yeah. Anything Thank you me. want to say about what we've been talking about? Um, I don't have any squirrels, but yeah, I did have a rat come in. A what? You did have what? A rat. A rat. Well, that's, you know. Yeah, we get mice. A- we get mice. And mice are kind of cute. Marjorie doesn't think they're cute. Do no, you? I don't either. <laughs> Marjorie, you don't think they're cute, do you? Well, because when you one then there's always another and another and another but we got rid of them yeah what we use is peppermint spray and they all disappeared Mm -hmm. you know uh plus traps well i don't like the traps because i don't like to kill them mice are not harmful i do (laughs) what do you think charlie you tend to agree with me right would you kill a rat a mouse rather Oh, me? Charlie. Charlie? Yeah. No, no, we always uh, got the traps that you, uh, you know, to trap them in a little box and then you carry them out in the country and release them. Yeah. Yeah. That's My mice thing. are harmless. You know, they, yeah. they scare the hell out of you when you see them, you know, but they're, they're, they're not rats. No. You know, now a rat, that yeah. I'd kill. Um, how about you, Brian? You, you, got, you got any critters out where you live? I do. Brian? Oh. Brian? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're we're right at the Santa Cruz Mountains, right at the bottom. So <clears throat> we have squirrels all day running around and not in the house, though. But yeah. So yeah. We, we have a lot of activity around here. And yeah. deer. Uh, we, have a five, we have a five o'clock lizard that walks by. Uh, ex, <laughs> my ex-girlfriend of mine, when she and her mother would go to Greece, I would go over and babysit their cats mm. or their cat. Uh, it was a very precocious cat. And he would go out in the backyard because in California, you can you let your cats go out in the backyard, you know. And um, there was a squirrel there that was there every day. And he would chase the squirrel, the cat. And after a while, I realized they weren't playing predator prey. They were just having fun with each other, you know, because I would see the squirrel kind of look at the stop and look at the cat. The cat would look at the squirrel and then he'd go for the squirrel. and The squirrel would go away, you know, but the squirrel was there every day knowing the cat was there. So they had some kind of a symbiotic relationship going on. Uh, how about you, Edward? Do you have any critters out where you live? Many years ago, we had a bird in the basement. Huh. And that was it. That's it, yeah. Are you where again? Am, am I what? Where, where do you live again? Flushing. Flushing. Yeah. Flushing. Famous That's right. Chinese area, Flushing. That's right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You ever go down to that flushing uh, uh, Chinese market and buy? Uh, no. <laughs> Do you see what they're selling? Uh, no, I don't. Have Giant turtles. Uh oh. Yeah, and, <laughs> and they will hack them apart for you while you're there, so you can take them uh-huh. home and make turtle soup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know the place, right, Rick? Oh, there are a lot of them. 
Well, I mean, I saw one that was a big one. You go in there and they got. Oh, you, no, there are a lot of, quote, big ones in Flushing. Really? Okay. Um, great place to get Chinese food, didn't that? Was that where we went to get the soup dumplings? We went to the No, dumplings. that was um, maybe be a. Um, on 41st Road, um, I'm going up. No, on the but name. Alex, remember when we went with Boone and his wife? We went to that. Yo, dumpling. Shanghai. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We went to a uh, restaurant that was a, a, what was the kind of food they served? Just dumplings. Just dumplings. Okay. Hmm. And they were delicious. They were wonderful. Chinese food in Flushing is really true. You don't go out for Chinese, do you, uh, Edward? Every once in a while, I go out for Chinese. But it's hard to park there. We have a I, know, old... I don't go to Main Street. Uh, we have one uh, over here where you can park. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, you can order Chinese. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, and the Chinese in that area is pretty good. Yeah. Tony has a term for it, which we won't. Yeah. Use no, 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 no. Don't even mention his name, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I can't Marjorie stand says, him. Marjorie I'm says, it, it right now, do not mention his name. He, she says, if he ever calls this show, she will. I am I'm out of here. He's been in the chat. He's listening. He's been in the chat. He is, is he in the chat. Yeah. Oh, really? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm leaving, Alex. No, no he's not. I agree. No, he's not. Mm -hmm. No, if he calls, I won't even put him on. I thought I thought he listens to it Can like tell tonight it? or tomorrow or something. Oh, okay. All right. I have well, a yeah. great story. What, what a... what's that, Mandy? I I had posted a temporary picture on Facebook a while back, like Father's Day, of me and my dad when I was like 17. Wow. Old picture. And yeah. I have a cabbage patch kid mask, and my dad's like making a funny face. Well, I got a notification that somebody shared that photo. And so Whoa. the person, I was like, person, and I clicked, I clicked on his profile, and his friends was that guy, Tony. Tony? Yeah. <laughs> Tony friended me a long time ago and I accepted it, but I was like, why is your friend sharing my profile? Well, if he, if he friend, friends you, uh, uh, I don't. Run. don't. And I blocked the yeah. other Because he he'll, I took him off. Yeah, he, didn't, he won't you. stop. We, and we all tell him to stop and how much we hate it and he doesn't listen to us. No, that's when he's going to throw him away. But I don't even know Tony's so side. I, I just unfriended him. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, his friends are like looking at my stuff and sharing it, which is weird. Charlene, it, did we ask you about any critters in your area at all? Me? No, no. I'm. I was saying to Charlene. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah I did. Uh, I do have squirrels in the backyard, but I had a rat under my couch. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather have a squirrel. Yeah, me too. Me too. You, how many here have pets? Wow. I had a cat. Have a pet. What do you have, Charlene? I have a dog. A dog? Yeah. You see, if you had a cat, you wouldn't have rats. But, <laughs> That's true. Yeah, what, what are you saying, Mandy? I said I had a cat for 23 years, but that was it. I that never cat had... lived 23 years? Yes, she was oh. 23. Oh, God. man. Wow. Our building had... was so cheap. Got, got cats because of the, the mice and the rats in the basement. And the smell that came up on the elevator. Well, for, because of the you know, sp uh, spraying. Yeah. See, here's oh. the thing. It was kind of like a Warner Brothers cartoon where they had rats. So they got cats, stray cats, and put them down there. So now you got the smell of, of, of cat jizz oh. coming Ooh. up and wafting <clears throat> the elevators. Uh, and I figured, you know, it's kind of like, what are they going to do to get rid of the cats? Get dogs? And then the dogs, <laughs> what are they going to do to get rid of the dogs? Get mountain lions. You know, uh, it was almost like a Warner Brothers cartoon. Terrible way to solve the problem. Yes, Jeff. We have, uh, we saw a coyote the other day. Cool. Yeah, like that. Really? Yeah, well, we we're out there in the farms. Oh. They, they like to eat other animals. Like yeah, of course they like do. Like rabbits. Yeah. Oh. Now, when you see at a certain time of the year, there's all the baby rabbits, rabbits that show up. Yeah. And then they start disappearing. 
<laughs> well, here, I'll and tell you turkeys a, a and quick, all quick story, and then we got to go because we're running out of time. But I had a friend who lived out in the country, and uh, he had a cat who was killed by an owl. Because yeah. wow. owls come down, they grab them, they can lift them and fly them away. Yeah. Yeah. Did they yeah. fly away with him? Yeah. Look, Brian is growing <laughs> wings. <laughs> I told her she's on the show. She has to act like an adult. I that, said, can't be a kid. I said, but I am a kid. It, listen, said, that, that, that is bizarre. It just yeah. looks bizarre. <laughs> so don't show your head because we don't want to. You're too ugly. Uh, <laughs> you know she's not ugly. You hear that? Your uncle Alex says you're ugly. Yeah. It, it, I don't like, care. Marjorie, Marjorie, doesn't when you see Adrian, doesn't that wish you had make you wish you had children? No, but I love her. She's adorable. Yeah. Perfect <laughs> answer. Alex, I gotta go. Thank well, you. Have you a gotta go. Time. Everybody's gotta go. We gotta right. say goodbye. <laughs> we'll say goodbye to Len LaFrisco, first of all, because he's gotta go. Let's say goodbye to Mandy. Charlene, thank you so much. Scott Boddicker, thank oh, you. Shecky, thank you. Marjorie, thank you. Uh, who just left? Uh, let's see here. Well, Charlie, thank you. Thank you. Edward Berger, thank you. That's Jeff right. Trump. Paula, always wonderful to see you, my dear. And uh, look at, and, and there goes Mandy. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Mandy. And look at that. There's Adrian. And there's somebody with her who we don't have to make whatever that guy's name because he's not as cute as she is. Okay, Edward, we're gonna have to send us out. Edward's gonna send us out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got to go with Edward Berger. I That's think. right. Okay, yeah. ladies and That's gentlemen, awesome. Edward Berger now signs us off. That's all, folks. Thank yeah. you, Edward. Everybody, wave goodbye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>